everyone today we will be doing some christmas origami making do you guys remember when i got this i don't remember what i even got it for it was such a long time ago and now i'm finally gonna use at least one of these 400 sheets so this book does come with some instructions on making origamis this one kind of reminds me of a snowflake but it is not so I think what I'm going to do is I remember how to make an origami heart and we can do some cutting and we can make a beautiful Christmas poinsettia flower. Let's do it. I also thought there was blue in here, but there's this kind of turquoise color. So we're gonna use these turquoise stripes first. We'll take one out of these in the pattern I want down here, facing it downward. And folding it horizontally or vertically, half doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna fold it in half again. And we're going to fold in half again to make it a triangle. So you're going to fold it on the part that only has one flap, just like that. And you have a triangle. Now be careful, get a pair of scissors and just cut off that corner just a dot. And now you want to start cutting by that point, but don't cut on that point's edge. And you just want to start by cutting a straight line there. And then kind of just make basically a zigzag line that just gets smaller and smaller as you keep going to the top of it. You'll see as I do it here. It really isn't that tricky. It's just pretty easy. I started going for something random and I was like, this works. Then you just cut it off right on the top and unfold it. And here's the final product. And now you just want to make one more of these the exact same way. So you have two. Oh, we're going to get some red and let's do the heart paper. We're going to need four of these. One, two, three, four. And we're going to make an origami heart out of this. So we'll put them all together and make a little Christmas flower and add our little ruffle onto it. So put my pattern I want to use face down. Now you want to fold this top right diagonal to the bottom left diagonal. And then unfold it so you have a crease and do the same thing with the other opposite side. So it's going to be line to line of your crease if you already made. Now you have an X in your square and you're going to tilt it so it's on one of its points and kind of looks like a rhombus or a diamond or a kite, whatever you want to call it now. And you're going to bring the top point right to the middle and fold it just like that. And you're going to fold the bottom to the very top, still trying to keep it as straight as you can. <laughs> just like that now you want to take this bottom right corner right here where your pattern ends and bring it straight to the middle line so the bottom's right at the top straight as can be on the middle line. and do the exact same thing on the other side this side should be a bit easier because you're just lining it up exactly with your other side that's already folded just like that and flip it around and just do the two little top points fold it down as much as you want but not that much i just like to go even to the line and do the same with the little points on the side just like that and ta-da you have your beautiful little heart and if you don't like it out like this you can tape this together as well and tape these little back things but just look at how cute that is now we're going to make three more of these It might be a little uneven sometimes, but it's still okay. Hmm, let's see. Done. 
now that you have all four of your hearts done, you just want to put the insides of the hearts together, just like that. And same with down here, and then put them all together like that. Looking super cute, and then you just want to have this, this exact same way, but flipped over to the other side. Then just grab some tape, and tape two at a time together. Once you've taped two hearts at a time, you can tape all four of the hearts together. Now go back to your two little green pieces and you want to line up the circles in the middle and just make sure that the petals are going kind of opposite of each other. So you can just even make them a little bit spread apart so we can put this other fly right here and you can just see it more. Now I'm just going to flip it over be very careful and grab some tape out of my unicorn tape dispenser. Once you've taped it, flip it around just like this. It looks a bit weird. And you're going to put your flower on top where you think it looks good. Turn it around. So flip it over. And you guessed it. Tape it. Now once you finish taping, Look at that, you finished a poinsettia origami and cutting. Well, I hope you all like your poinsettia that you made. Um, honestly, it wasn't that hard once you get the hang of it. I definitely do wish that I made the background maybe another one of those so you can make three and tape them together. But you know, I suggest watching the whole video before you go on and make it. But I hope you guys enjoyed and have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you on Vlogmas tomorrow.